Hello friends! Welcome back to the Learning Library. Today's video we will be reading the story Do Goldfish Fly? This story reminds me of another story we read titled Who Hops? In Who Hops we learned about how different animals move around and in this story we are also going to learn about how different animals move. Can you think of some ways that you, a human, moves? I know we walk, we run, and we hop. And just like in the story, who hops? Frogs hop, and we learned that snakes slither. Let's get reading this story and we can find out, do goldfish fly? Do goldfish fly? No. Hummingbirds fly. Hummingbirds are very small birds that can fly very quickly. Their wings flap so fast that they can make a humming sound. Hummingbirds can fly up, down, left, and right. They can fly forward, backward, and even upside down. Do goldfish hop? No, kangaroos hop. Kangaroos use their huge hind legs to hop from place to place. They can hop much faster than people can run. Their long nails swing up and down to help them hop. Do goldfish paddle? No, ducks paddle. A duck has wide webbed feet. Webbed feet have flaps of skin between the toes. They help the duck paddle through water. Just like a fish's feet. Do goldfish pounce? No, panthers pounce. A panther pounces on other animals from behind. It has thick pads on the bottoms of its paws. The pads help the cat move silently and surprise its prey. The panther's powerful legs spring into action for long leaps. Do goldfish slither? No, snake slither. A snake slithers in a smooth and slinky wave. It glides over grass and twists around tree trunks. Strong muscles help its long scaly body move smoothly over the ground. Do goldfish climb? No, geckos climb. Gecko lizards can climb straight up a slippery window. They scoot up and down trees and walls. They scale smooth rocks, special pads on a gecko's toes, help the lizard climb and cling. Do goldfish swing through trees? No, gibbons swing through trees. Gibbons have long arms that help them swing from branch to branch. Tall trees are safe places for gibbons to sleep, eat, and play. Why can't goldfish climb like gibbons? I wonder. Do goldfish dig through dirt? No. Earthworms dig through dirt. Earthworms dig in the dark, damp dirt. They push forward with open mouths. As they move, they shallow dirt and bits. Earthworms leave their dirt looser and richer. Do goldfish jump through grass? No. Grasshoppers jump through grass. Grasshoppers have thick, powerful thighs. Their legs bend backward. Grasshoppers' special legs help them jump through the tallest grass. Grasshoppers can jump up to 20 times their own body length. Look at the grasshoppers' thighs. Look how they, the muscles look very strong compared to the bottom half of its legs. That's where all their power comes from. Do goldfish crawl? No, spiders crawl. Spiders crawl around using eight long legs. They can crawl almost anywhere, even on ceilings. Spiders have claws and tiny hairs on the ends of their legs. The hairs help them stick to things. So spiders have hairy legs that help them to stick. Just like Spider-Man, he grew hairs on his fingers that helped him stick on the walls too. Do goldfish gallop? No, zebras gallop. Zebras run swiftly. They can gallop like horses. Most zebras live on open grasslands. They have few places to hide. 
Some animals try to attack them. They must run quickly to get away. Do goldfish swim? Yes, goldfish swim. Shimmering goldfish are sleek and slim. Shimmering goldfish swish and swim. So goldfish have fins that allow them to swim underwater. How and where animals move? Animals move above our heads. Swing and sway gibbons, climb and clean geckos, flap and hum hummingbirds, animals below our feet, slither and slank snakes, dig and wiggle earthworms, creep and crawl spiders. So snakes, earthworms, and spiders are all down to our feet level. So if you look down at the ground, you may see one of these creatures. But if you look up, you will see gibbons, geckos, and hummingbirds if you're in their habitat. Animals move through the water. Paddle and splash, ducks. Swish and swim, goldfish. Animals hop and jump and race. Pad and pounce, panthers. Hop high, kangaroos. Jump with the jerk, grasshoppers. Animals run with other animals, gallop in great group. Zebras. And this book gives us a bonus feature. This is called a glossary. And in the glossary, it gives us new definitions and new vocabulary words to help us learn things in the story. So the words they have here are gallop, to run so fast that all four legs leave the ground at once. Muscle, one of the parts of the body that help you move, lift, or push. Pounce, to leap on something and grab it. Prey, an animal that is hunted by other animals for food, like a zebra. And who do you think are the predators of a zebra? Rawr. Scale, to climb up or over. Silent, completely quiet or without noise. Slither, to slide along. Snakes have no legs, so they have to slither instead of walk. Thighs, the upper part of an animal's legs. A grasshopper's strong thighs help it jump far. Webbed feet, feet that have flaps of skin between the toes. Webbed feet helps ducks paddle, and they help frogs to swim. I have two activities I would like for you to film for Class Dojo. The first activity is I want you to show me a cool way that you can move. So are you a cool walker? Do you know how to hop? Do you know how to skip? Do you know how to run very fast? I would like for you to film a way that you move. And the second thing I would like for you to do is answer this question. In the story, which animal can swing through trees? You did a wonderful job following along in the story. Do goldfish fly? You learned a lot of new vocabulary words. I hope that I see you in the next video. Until then, I wish you well.